What is up, pouch boys and girls from all around the world? It is I, your cyberspace hero, Zero, here to bring you another episode of Patch Me Outside, here in lovely Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Zero Style is my vlog and YouTube channel. You can now use my handle, at Zero Style, here on YouTube. And I talk about pouches, patches, knives, flashlights, pocket trash, fidget toys, whatever you want to call the junk that you put in your pockets. I am a notorious pouch boy. I like to use a pouch organizer to keep my gear organized. I like to use ranger eyes, vandal eyes, morale patches, whatever you want to call them. These little velcro back PVC tactical pieces of goodness to accessorize my stuff and look cool. This week, I've got a thematic carry that is filled with some of my favorite green gear but the patches are more of like a blue and yellow thing. So for the patches I've got on my pouch this week, the brand new collab between my dude Dash One and Danny Shred, the Nolly Shred Dash Graffiti. Also from Shred, the birthday Halloween ice cream cone from Coquie Creations, the popped EDC Gundam can collab from JRW Gear, the water patch. Damn Designs Blue Rough Patch Kids, the brand new Rainbow Louis Vuitton Coffin from Data Crew, Alchemist Artworks 3D Drop Shadow Bro, and from Inkpot Artworks, the Bel Air Color Schemed Jaw Patch. One of my favorite ensembles that I've done in quite a while. So this is the pouch that I've been loving lately. I now have three of these if you're keeping score. This is the ZF Cup, the Zero Feud Compact Utility Pouch in black ripstop nylon fabric. It's got a full front web field for all of your Velcro Ranger eye patch loving. I have hooked up my own zipper pull here. We've got a squishy PVC Plague Sacred Terror skull bead and a matching Plague Black Pandemic. 3D printed bead. I was just discussing 3D printed beads with some people on Discord. They don't really bother me personally. I don't mind that liney color. And if you do it right, they can still be thick and they can still work out well. I don't necessarily like them as knife lanyards, but they work great as zipper pulls. Speaking of zipper pulls, let's take a peek at what I've got in the pouch this week. As I said, an ensemble of some of my favorite green gear. So, on the budget side of the pouch this week, from Civivi, I'm honestly not sure if this is the Civivi Kiwi or the Civivi Kiwi. We're gonna call it the Kiwi. This is a front flipper double detent friction folder in Jade G10. I've got that coupled up with a glow in the dark plague skull bead. So, a double detent front flipper friction folder, eh? Yes. Front flipper is the deployment mechanism right here. This little exposed piece of jimping right here, give it some pressure and it just flips right out. This knife is non-locking. It's a double detent. One detent ball is here that sort of faux locks it into place. The other one is all the way here that sort of faux shuts it. You can hear and feel those clicks when it goes into place. This is a great little box cutter knife. With the straight edge blade profile like this, it's great for piercing cuts and obviously box cutting type utility. When you're pushing down on your object like this, the force from the object is going up. So you don't need to worry about the knife closing. But when there's nothing behind it, any pressure will just close this knife. So you gotta be careful. In places that you cannot have a locking knife, where you need to have a blade that is under three inches long, like Europe. This is one of my all-time favorite little budget under $50 knives. It's actually on sale on Amazon for Prime Day this week, so check out the link in the description below. Use my links, help support the channel for a little kickback for me with no extra cost to you. So yeah, the Civivi Kiwi, one of my favorite little budget knives. Back in the cup pouch, the Kiwi is actually small enough that it fits in the little split pocket right here in the front. Another one of my favorite budget-friendly EDC pieces of gear is from Nightcore. I've talked about this flashlight a ton of times on my channel because I absolutely love it. This is the Nightcore Tiki Glow in the Dark Edition. Comes in blue or green. I've got the green, obviously. Got that coupled up with a glow in the dark, 3D printed once again, OEG one-eyed ghost bead. Just a cool little glow in the dark bead. This is a great little EDC light. It's got a single button on it, long press it, it goes into momentary turbo, 300 lumens. Just blast it, see what you gotta see in the dark, and be on with your life. Let go, and it is off again. Double tap it, it goes into the lowest moonlight mode. 
A single tap will jump it up in brightness all the way back up to turbo. Long press it to turn it off. Triple tap it and the side UV LED will engage. Um, you can use this to charge glow in the dark stuff, see things that glow in the dark lights will help you see like scorpions, and as well as it's intended to use to charge the shell. It's daytime so you can't really see it, but this actually glows in the dark itself. Even just from some regular use like this, the front end of the shell will actually start glowing in the dark. It's a great little light, budget once again, sub $50, this is like a $20 flashlight. Also on sale for Amazon Prime Day, if you've been thinking about grabbing one of these, now is the time. Support the channel with the links in the description below. Now this is the quote unquote utilitarian side of my pouch, and this is the fun side of my pouch. I keep my fidget toys and anxiety tools on this side. You've seen these in a number of different styles and colors on my channel before. From JRW Gear, this is the Camo Curator Flex. The Curator Flex is a malleable PVC worry stone. It is the same design as the full-size metal curators that Jamie at JRW Gear makes and sells only at knife shows. So you gotta go to like Blade Show West or something like that to actually get a metal curator. But that being said, Every first of the month, he drops a flex series. It could be a bead, it could be a curator flex like this, but they are great little worry stones. You can rub them like this, you can squeeze them like a stress ball to get your anxiety out, fiddle with them, rub them between your fingers, use them as a coaster for your other pocket trash on a table, makes a great barrier in your pouch that stops stuff from banging and clanging off of each other as well too. The JRW Gear Curator Flex. There's a million uses for these little things. This side of the pouch goes all the way down to the bottom. But what I've actually done is I've only sort of tucked it here in the top half so it sits against the fidget toy that is in the bottom half, thus securing it a little bit in there. Now this, if you watched my unboxing video last week, you are familiar with this. This is a new fidget toy that I just got from Lautier EDC from the Spy Wars series. This is the mechanic haptic fidget spinner ring thing in stainless steel and zirconium. The center ring is made out of unflared zirconium and it is very interesting to feel. This thing has a series of up to eight magnets in it. You can take it apart and choose how many magnets you want. No magnets, it has a beautiful free spinning silent kind of action. Eight magnets, it really tactile clicks into place and you can barely spin it. I've got two magnets in mine on either polar side of it to give you a little bit of tactile feel. You can got that click in feeling, rubbing it back and forth, but also gives you this very satisfying spin feeling. Unlike my other Lautier product, this is ambidextrous. You can absolutely put this thing on multiple fingers and enjoy it exactly the same way. It is a very, very cool tactile experience. This thing is designed to only be worn on the half knuckle. It's one of those things where you can like spin it like this or whatever. It's not designed to go all the way on. If you did put it there, it really would not feel good as it's scratched between the webbing of your fingers and it actually impedes its ability to spin nicely like this when it's really up against another piece of skin. So yeah, that's why you put it here on the middle finger, middle of the finger because that's where the designer wants you to put it. I was listening to Dave on the live stream from Lautier and he was talking about this product and how it actually came to be and how the very first one of these on the finger ball bearing Fidget Toys was actually designed by Derek from Steel Flame. And they actually asked his permission or blessing or whatever for them to create this product. And I thought that was pretty cool that he was giving the original sort of designer a shout out from their design and saying like, hey look, we're paying tribute to those who came before us.
it's kind of hard to describe. It's one of those things that you kind of just have to feel to understand what it's like. I really like haptic magnetic fidget toys that give you some sort of feedback. This one is just so satisfying. I know a number of people will be grail questing after these, uh, I have no doubt in my mind. The Lautier EDC Mechanic from the Spy Wars series. One of my new favorite fidget toys in the pouch this week. As I said, you kind of just split this pocket here, slide it down in there, and with the flex on the top half, it really does keep everything in there. He says as the knife falls out. But the, the pocket trash, the flex is doing its job in keeping the Lautier in there. And honestly, all I'm really asking for out of this pouch is that it doesn't fall out when it's unzipped and closed in my pocket. If it's zipped up anyways, like it's secure and in the pocket, stuffed into this thing, but I don't want it to fall out as soon as I open the pouch. So the flex really helps keep it secure. I keep this thing either in a cargo pocket or in the right front pocket, along with a hank. This week, I've got the Marvel Comics Avengers Hank, featuring Wolverine, Captain America, the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, Spidey. We've got some lovely microfiber backing, plush embroidery all around the outside. A lovely Hank from my friends Jimmy and Amanda at Damn Hanks. Hanks are extremely utilitarian pieces of cloth. Man, whether you're cleaning your screens of your phones, tablets, lenses, the junk off of your face, the snot off of your beard, the food off of your face, they're great. And if you have kids like me, they're even more important to help keep those little snotty buggers clean. Hanks, get them in your pockets. I want to talk about my key setup a little bit this week. I've got three different things on here. It's a key fob from Ikea, pretty standard flip out key kind of thing. But I had this number one dad clangy thing attached to my keys that my wife gave me that was really important to her. And I hated the noise, but I wanted to carry it. So I just put some double sided tape on the back here, put it through the key loop, and here we are. We've got a little flexible key loop. I love these things. Link in the description from Amazon. These are amazing. You get them in like a box of 10 and a bunch of different colors. I've got a workerman hook. This is just a solid piece of machined Ultum that has the cool Workerman Fantastic Phantom on it. And this is great. This thing works on your belt loop, on the waistband of your pants, on the outer part of your pocket. Uh, if you want to put this deep in the pocket so all of this is in the pocket and this is hooked on the outer part, works great. You want to put it right onto the waistband of your sweatpants, works great. You want to hook it through a belt loop, works great. Workerman hook, man. I love these things. I hope he makes them more often. These things are amazing. Amazing. And I've also been testing the Keybar Junior for a few weeks now. This is the OD Green G10 and Blasted Titanium Edition. I've got two blank keys in here so I can show it off and not be fearful that you're going to steal my house key. Just sort of flip it out, flip it back down, good to go. I've got two keys in mine here. It's very easy to select which one of the two keys you want to flip out one handed uh, without even looking at the device. It works great. The little ramp right here, your key sticks out, just give it a push and use your finger on the bottom half to sort of rotate the key that you want out. You definitely can push just one and choose just that key that you want very easily and one handed. On the back side, I've got two things. This is the key attachment loop thing. It works as one of the washers and the divider. And then I've just got my USB-C YubiKey. This is a little two-factor authentication thing. Stick it into your computer, press these buttons, it types in a code that I need to get onto special servers and crap like that. Then I can just pull it right back out of my computer and be done with it. YubiKeys are great. They hold all kinds of physical hardware secrets for you and they can be literally on your key ring with your actual keys. They can be used for FIDO, DUO, signing keys, MFA tokens, a whole bunch of different things. They're super versatile and if you're a nerd like me, you probably should have yourself a Yubi. What do you think about this sweatshirt? You know, I feel weird not wearing a hoodie. Like, I always wear hoodies living here in Pittsburgh. But my dudes over at Data Crew sent me this thing and I was like, gang, green gang. It's a very, very plush champion brand hoodie. It is super soft. Probably coming to the shop soon. Use my discount code XERO15015 for 15% off your entire order at datacrew.la. 
that is the pouch dump episode for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these videos. If you did, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. Click my face down here if you'd like to subscribe to my videos. Click these boxes that are appearing around my face as I do this outro. And if no one has told you today, you are a rad person who deserves love and praise just like everybody else in this world. Get out there today. Do something nice for a totally random stranger. I promise it feels good. Have some fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Later on.